Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan, and welcome to week number eight of the top five Fallout 4 mods of the week. Now, hopefully, you guys will enjoy the mods that I've picked up for this week. Starting off at our number five spot, we have the Cross Brotherhood Recon mod. Now, this is actually an armor mod that has been added into the game, and the lore behind it is that the Brotherhood Recon uniform was designed as a lightweight, all purpose field uniform for a long range reconnaissance patrol. Built from a combination of newly forged materials and old world salvage, the recon uniform provides units with the ability to effectively blend in with local populations while providing ample protections against many hazards and wastes. Originally issued to the reconnaissance units, its effectiveness quickly gained notoriety and is now issued to more stationary units. Now the recon uniform actually comes with six optional parts which include the helmet, gas mask, sunshades, overcoat, gloves, and under armor, and each part can be customized to a certain degree. Now none of the uniform parts actually act as over armor, meaning you can actually still wear normal armor like combat armor even with the overcoat. And both the under armor and overcoat have the ballistic weave slots so you can wear both the weave and replace the standard armor all together. And how to get it, the recon uniform is actually added to leveled lists for Brotherhood NPCs in the world via script, and most rank and file Brotherhood scribes and soldiers have a chance to spawn with a variety of the different parts. But if you want to get the full costume like all together, you can actually just craft the entire thing out of chem lab, which is what I did as you could see at the beginning of the video. So as you can see, this armor does look really awesome, and I showed you guys the before, and I'm going to be showing you guys the after as well for me customizing it. There's like a little officer blend that you can get, and like a new paint that you can put on it called the officer blend, and it's more, you know, gray, and it has a better shade to it. And you can also alter many other pieces of the clothing, so it looks really awesome, and there's a bunch of different combinations that you can do, and that's why it comes in at our number five spot, so I'd recommend giving this one a try. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the Mogo MRAs Home Plate Overhaul. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce your name. Sorry if I mispronounced it. But it's a very simple mod that just changes the home plate and it adds way more room and you can actually light up the entire area and there's much more room and very, very little clutter and very, very little rubble everywhere because I really hate the original home plate. There's so much rubble everywhere and you can't really get rid of it. So it's really annoying, but this actually adds a nice little, you know, clean floor to it and a nice little, uh, upstairs as well and there's no like you know wooden stairs or anything like that it's all you know fine and it's all it really resembles mayor mcdonough's office and it just makes the home plate all around better and a better place to actually live in diamond city so that's why it comes in at our number four spot and i definitely recommend giving this one a try Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have the Assault Carbine HD. Now this gun will actually show in-game from level 30 through 35 and on, and uh, it actually has a lot of customization options. It'll spawn on Raiders, Gunners, Minutemen, and Vendors, which I got mine from a Vendor, and then I started upgrading it. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here, and all of them will have their own weapon skin. The Assault Carbine is a magazine-fed, compact, automatic weapon with a high rate of fire and a comparatively low spread. It is one of the most accurate automatic weapons in the game and can be affected, used in close and medium range. Now some of the modifications that are actually available for this gun, there are a ton of receivers to add. There is 5 stocks, 10 barrels, 4 muzzle attachments, 6 magazines which is the simple and quick eject mags, there's 11 sights, and 9 different weapon skins. So at the workstation, I completely buffed out the gun to make it the best that it could possibly be, and I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a test fire just so you guys can see what this gun can actually do and what it sounds like, so here we go. So as you can see, the recoil on this gun is very little and it sounds very awesome and all the sounds and animations work flawlessly and that is definitely why it comes in at our number 3 spot, so I'd recommend giving this one a try. Coming in at our number 2 spot, we have the Clean Diamond City Overhaul. Now I think this mod is pretty interesting. It makes it look like Diamond City is just now being built. It looks like it hasn't been there for a long time. It actually feels like the city is, you know, relatively new and people are finally starting to like build up an area that, you know, has been destroyed for a long time. The entire area down below is very clean and there's trees being grown and basically it just cleans up the place of all the trash and grass. It flattens the ground as like the best that it could be and it adds working street lights, trees and furniture and a few more NPC children because you know this is a family city but there weren't really that many families running around so that's really all it does it cleans up Diamond City to the best of its ability and it looks very great and I'm gonna be giving you guys a full tour of the entire city pretty much so let's begin
So as you can see, Diamond City does look super different and is definitely a better looking city. In my opinion, I believe that this is way better looking than all the rubble and all the trash that was all over the ground and stuff like that. So that's why it comes in at our number two spot and I'd strongly recommend downloading this one. Coming in at our number one spot, we have the Wasteland Codex mod. Now this mod is amazing, I've never seen anything like it. It says the Wasteland Codex is a mod that lets you unlock the articles of an in-game lore database of the Fallout universe piece by piece as you travel through the wasteland and listen to the voice of the storyteller. Now the mod author actually says to expect this mod to be continuously extended and additional content to be added over a long period of time, so that's really awesome that this mod will be constantly updated. And you can also unlock the lore entries by simply playing the game as usual, you kill enemies, visit locations, and meeting new friends, and unlocked codex articles are sorted into multiple categories and can be accessed through the Wasteland Codex holotape which provides valuable information and professional narration by the storyteller himself. With the new autoplay feature you can even listen to the new articles without needing to open up the codex. Now how to actually use this, once it's installed you'll receive a holotape in your inventory called the Wasteland Codex and you can set it to autoplay mode so whenever you actually you know find or you stumble across a new entry into this codex it'll actually just play it for you and the storyteller will you know talk over your game and tell you exactly what it's about. So in this playthrough here I actually got a recording of a dog bestiary because I killed one of the super mutant dogs and it actually told me all about you know the super mutant dogs and you know dogs in the wasteland so I thought that was really awesome. So like I said, I have definitely never seen anything like this in the entire game itself, and I've never even seen any mod like it, so it is a very unique mod that actually just changes the complete game, you know, you can start a brand new game and just play through the game and it'll teach you everything lore based around every creature in the game and every item in the game and, you know, all the different factions and stuff like that, so I think that is amazing, and that is why it comes in at our number one spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it. So that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the Top 5 Fallout 4 Mods of the Week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you knew, it helps me out a lot. And if you have any suggestions for mods that you'd like me to cover, whether it be in Fallout or Skyrim, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, or you could follow me on Twitter. I'd be sure to leave my link in the description below, and you guys can follow me on Twitter there, and you can leave me suggestions through there as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later.